Welcome to the Average Joe. We'll take you where you need to go. There's plenty of excitement here, so come explore with us. We can always show you something new from theme parks to restaurant reviews. So join us at the Average Joe, Florida. Well, hello. Folks, and welcome to this episode of The Average Joe Florida coming to you today from Epcot Center for Festival of the Arts 2024. We are here. It's a beautiful day in Orlando, isn't it? 65 it degrees, is. 64 degrees. People have their jackets on today. Nice and cool. It's beautiful. I'm in my brand new Roosevelt shirt here. This is a Roosevelt Sketches in the Sky from the Fantasia line. Just picked this up the other day. So Roosevelt's an awesome product as always. And uh, we are here. I want to thank all of our new subscribers. You guys over the past couple weeks have jumped up. From, we had 2,000, now we have 4,000. So we want to thank you guys for subscribing to our channel. So please watch your videos and keep going. If you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? Everybody else has. Join us below and hit the subscribe button, comments below, and notifications as well. All right, so we're going to go on into Festival of the Arts here and go see Figment and what's going on for 2024. And there's our buddy Figment. As always, their mascot of Festival of the Arts. We'll see a bunch of him inside, that's for sure. Beautiful day here in Orlando. 65 degrees overcast and no rain. All right, let's go on in and see what's going on at Festival of the Arts. It's Saturday, it's the second day of Festival of the Arts, and there's about a 30 minute wait for Spaceship Earth. So Epcot has multiple festivals throughout the year. What do we, we start off with Festival of the Arts, then we go to the Flower and Garden, um, that reaches halfway through the summer that lasts, and then we hop right into Wine, uh, wine and Dine, which uh, goes all the way through November, and then we have the Epcot International Festival of the Holidays start. So it goes from one festival to the next. There's about a week break in between each of them, I think. Uh, maybe a little longer than a week at times, but uh, it just moves on from one festival to the next. We've been here a couple times already. It's just so cool to see this area finally wide open and available to everybody again. It's been quite a while since we've been able to see this. And it's like they're going to do chalk art. They just, oh, I see one artist down there just starting to do chalk art. <laughs> the Mexico Pavilion. She's working on a girl's image. There's an abstract Pluto. There's the yellow canary, like a bird feeder sitting on it. And she's working on a picture of a woman as well. And he's just started to work on a figment scene. Cut his lines down for his straight line. He's going to do an arch. Festival of the Arts. This is the main entrance. Right near the lagoon here. Here's your Festival of the Arts guide map. Take a beat! Take a beat! Pause it there if you want to see all the food studios and artists and merchandise. And yes, at the Disney booths, the Disney stuff, your discounts do work if you have a DVC or annual pass. Those are cool. Beauty's Castle, Beauty and the Beast Castle, Cinderella Castle, Little Mermaid Castle. It's nice to see newer art. They had didn't have this last year. This is all newer. These are great. There's the Duck and Daisy. Hades. Dr. Facilier. And some serious looking art. Peter Pan and Wendy. Snow White. First food booth here is Deco Delights, like Art Deco, and their food item is the Neapolitan Dessert Trio. It's a chocolate tart, vanilla bean cheesecake, and strawberry mousse. Cool. Would you like to get one of those? I don't think so. Did you want one of those? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we can check. It's on the, uh, oh. it's on the palette. Are we doing the Walk of Colorful Cuisine? Yes, we are. We're, okay. Of course. Deconstructed key lime. I'll try that one. I'll try the tomato soup. The tomato soup. That's right over there. Right around the corner. Neapolitan dessert trio and Versace roasted beets. Ooh, you I'll might have like those. that. Chorzo sausage and potato empanada. You'd uh, like that. You'd like that too. And blueberry filled pastry. I do not like, but you would like no. it. A the chocolate tart. Here's the cheesecake. And that's a strawberry mousse. Mousse. Very cool looking, isn't okay, it? It looks like my hat is falling off here. Oh, yeah, it's white chocolate melting off the mousse. Sliding down. Oh, it's just a, it's, a little gelatin or something. We'll put it up top there. Looks nice. Yeah. That looks like a sponge cake. <laughs> it looks almost it's like a real giggling. sponge. <laughs> it looks good. All right, I'm gonna try the cheesecake. Oh, that's the, the cheesecake, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. That's what it said. Oh, yeah, it's cheesecake. Oh, look, there it is. It looks like it has such a cracker under it. Yeah. That looks actually really good. Mm. Is it good? Very creamy. Cheesecake. That's you know a strawberry mousse. Everything has like a crust on it. A layer. What? Keeps it from, you know what? I bet it keeps it from melting. If it was hot, it's not hot today, but if it was, it would keep no, it from done. melting. It's just, Where it's are you? Alright, that's the mousse. Mm. Is it good? Strawberry. Mm. Very good. 
and the chocolate looks good. Chocolate does not have a crust on it. It's no. like a little chocolate cake or something, like a petty four. Chocolate cake. Mmm. How's the chocolate? The chocolate is my least favorite. It's really? Yeah, it's not. Not flavorful. These two were very flavorful. The two on the end are flavorful. The chocolate. Okay, well, we'll try them. Are you trying? All right, here's the strawberry mousse. Oh, yeah. It's very strawberry. It's very straw more strawberry than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's good. And that underneath is just a sponge cake, I'm going to guess. Yeah. yeah, the green sponge cake. Let's try the cheesecake now, the second one with the blue. Mm. Oh, it's good creamy cheesecake. It is. It's very creamy. You can't go wrong with that. And on the end is the chocolate tart. I didn't try the tart part, just the cake part on top. Can you even taste it? Can't even taste chocolate. <laughs> taste cheesecake. It's good. Very pretty looking dessert, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad. And it was $5.25. And I have a Florida egret here up close and personal visiting me in the shrubs. This is my dessert, buddy. You keep hunting in there, and I'll keep eating out here. Our next stop here is gonna be at Pop Eats, and they have Pop Eats every year, and this is the one that always has the tomato soup and grilled cheese, and they have it again this year. It's served in a really cool, like a can, a collector's can almost, like a tomato soup can, and they have with grilled cheese, and they have another one, tomato soup with pimento cheese, bacon, and fried green tomatoes, and they have a Rock the Dots white chocolate and orange mousse. Where do they get the tomato soup with grilled cheese? And there's the uh, beverages they have. Brooklyn Brewery. There's the picture of the uh, tomato super grilled cheese. Stuff from Pop Eats. There's a little collector can if you choose to keep it. It says Pop Eats. That's a tomato soup and that's the standard grilled cheese sandwich. And you got... I got green fried tomatoes and some pimento cheese spread. And bacon. Oh. And bacon with, in there. You got the soup as well. And the soup. The right. soup comes with heavy cream on top. I got his without. I chose to not have it. I asked. For Thank it. you. That was great fun. All right, we're gonna dig in and have our soup and grilled cheese. It's so good, it, it tastes like a long time ago. You dip your grilled cheese in your soup. How was yours with pimento cheese and fried green tomatoes, right? Drive Miss Daisy. The soup is really good, I love the tomato soup. That's a big sandwich, what do you think? It's very good. Good. All the flavors in it. Excellent. I like it too. I like them. And you got two stamps in your book for that? I did. Very good. Canada, which each festival used to have something I really, really want. This time I'm gonna pass. It has a Vesuce roasted beets with goat cheese. I'm not a goat cheese fan. No. And roasted bone marrow, although it looks good, it's mostly bone, to be honest with you. I got it last year and I couldn't like get more than a teaspoon. Just a I bite mean, out a of it? A teaspoon, not a tablespoon. A teaspoon. A teaspoon of the bone marrow. And that's around. just risotto with uh, mushrooms or truffles. So I think we're going to pass in Canada this time till the next festival, right? Yeah. These are all animal based, all these are animal based pieces of artwork. Like a little turtle mixed up with the birds. <laughs> This is artist Rob Kaz's booth with Walt holding Mickey and Minnie's hands outside the carousel right there. There's the Falcon. It is a crowded day. Second day of the festival. It's a lot of people here at Epcot. It's a Saturday too. Saturday. Yeah. Second day of the festival Saturday. Half these people. Yeah. I know Monday's the holiday, but after that it'll calm down. Yeah. Well, the art de la cuisine française. We are in France. And their menu has a creme de brie and petite pain, so it's creamy brie on bowl. Uh, Saumon fumé mousse, which is essentially salmon mousse. Uh, Valévendi sommeillette de pignades, sauce chardonnay. It's a puff pastry with salmon and spinach. And a duo de sommeil hot and cold, which is a salmon offerings, both of them. And a molten chocolate cake. And there's your pictures. Got a frozen French martini. Yep. Yeah. Liquor cocktail. I'm not sure what elderflower and uh, Charles Lafayette Root Rose Prestige. Traditional sparkling wine. And a Pia Noir. So this is vibrant and vivido. So it's vivid and vibrant. Or vibrant and vivid. Encanto Cocina. They have the chorizo potato empanada, passion fruit filled mango cheesecakes, and some beverages. We're not going to get here and here. We're going to go on. But that's 
what was last time was Israel for the festival of the uh, holidays, and before that is Brazil for the other right. blue and wine. Yeah, this is Disney art. Always looking for Oswald. On the lookout for my friend Oswald, always to add to my collection, right? Gotta love Oswald. I don't see him here. There's the train station is pretty cool though, Cinderella Castle. <laughs> Mickey on Main Street. The next booth of Disney Artists, Orange Bird. Okay, ice cream parlor. The crab from Moana. Shiny. But yeah, the cantina scene from the original Star Wars. That's a really cool one, isn't it? It is. That's neat. There's Luke. They look so lifelike, don't they? The faces. The artist was awesome. That's a, yeah. That's $3.99. That's an original. Oh, and there's Madame Leota floating in the ball. Say our buddy Figment. Jose, Fritz, Pierre, where's Panchito? And Orange Bird. Cool. I love the Haunted Mansion one over there with the hearse. Almost like the Hatbox Ghost driving it, doesn't it? It does. That's an awesome piece. There's another Haunted Mansion one. He's going up the driveway. And there's Cinderella's glass slipper. This is a Star Wars booth. All this stuff is so lifelike and realistic. The reflections in their eyes are just incredible. So awesome. Vader, the best. Awesome over there. You can see Mando in the reflection there with the dark saber in his hand. So cool. Beautiful stuff in this one. Japan, Doshiki. They have the Wagyu bun as last year, which is a steamed Wagyu American beef in a steamed bun. And they have the sushi donut, which is so cool. It's great sushi shaped like a donut. <laughs> Quite easy. And then, uh, I'm going to say this wrong. Ichigo mochi. Daifaku. It's fresh strawberry, sweet azuki bean paste, and white chocolate with strawberry cream. There it is. That wagyu bun is excellent. This is all Marvel artwork. Thanos, Captain America, Spider-Man. Everybody loves Spider-Man. Iron Man. Artist table, delicious fare. Duck and dumplings and hummingbird cake. And this is a banana one, not a uh, grapefruit one. And there's the drinks. We're not going to eat anything. Just want to show you the menu. This is some vibrant artwork to have. Look at that. Look at Kula, Mickey, and Minnie here on on the islands of Hawaii. Here, Mom. Look up, one right there. Hawaii. Oh yeah, Lilo and Stitch. They're really bright and colorful, aren't they? Ray BB-8. And BB-8. Wow. This is art from the artist Scooter. It gives everybody like an Art Deco look. All the different scenes. Yeah. Mickey and Minnie in Tomorrowland. Yeah, 40s, 50s. It's really interesting, isn't it? It is. It's a different take on them. The castle. The train, since we were here last, have all been refreshed in uh, Germany. They did a good job. It all looks so nice. The villages, Bavarian villages, the trains are all operable again. So beautiful. They do such a good job on these trains. Here comes the electric trolley. Going around the village. I want to know is I'm going to keep them not good. That's why you don't have selfie sticks here. You'd be like, you'd be like, wow. Aren't they cool? The town folks are really nice there. So modern, look at that. They really clean them up nice. Electric train coming, look at that. Yeah, the trains are so nice. Oh, look at that. Crossing. Oh, yeah. Golden Pass. And he's working on a steam locomotive down here. Yeah. You don't normally see Steamboat Willie in color, but that's kind of color for Steamboat Willie. Mickey and Minnie camping in that one. Mickey Minnie under the fireworks. I'm not sure who this artist is, but he does some good work. Look at the poison apple there. And Sorcerer Mickey. The colors are just incredible. Walt and Mickey up there. These are very bright and colorful across from Germany. Dave Avianzo. Uh, Dave Avanzino. Oh, that's an awesome Mickey. The tiki room is fantastic. What'd you find there? 45? 45? Oh, that's a tank, huh? $45. Mermaid Lagoon. That's a big one. They make custom ticket booklets too, with your name. Oh, Steamboat Donald. Yeah, he took Mickey out of the picture and put himself in. That's pretty funny. Oh, Kevin. 
It's a 3D pop out like a relief kind of piece of artwork there, and they have Stitch. Alice. But I like Jack the best. I think he has this conniving look on his face. Like he just put Donald on the Tower of Terror. <laughs> He's sending him down. <laughs> Those are beautiful. That castle is awesome. Looks really nice. That's cool though, Tower of Terror one. I like it. Pluto with the grumpy face because that's they all are grumpy. They all are stiff upper lips. That one's called Dopey's Treasure. Well, it must be the year of the vibrant painting. The year of the vibrant I like it. It's good. So we came back to China for the quick surf, and it looks like they, they, they I'll be honest, they did downsize it a little bit. Price is uh, still the same, the same. That's the orange chicken. Yours was fourteen seventy five, and I think mine was twelve seventy five. You got the, the veggies only and I the got noodles. The veggies and some kind of noodles. Yep. It looks good. I mean, it definitely, but it is what it is. They did just made it a little smaller. We used to eat a lot of food. I remember that. This was a very large meal last time. So, but we'll enjoy it. We have survived. It's very busy. Oh, it's crazy busy. It's the Saturday after the opening of Festival of the Arts. So it yesterday, yeah. we came today on a Saturday. Yeah, the weather's beautiful. It rained a lot yesterday. It was very hot and then very damp yesterday. So people are out today doing their thing. So, but it was good. It was fun, right? We didn't do a lot no. because uh, the lines were crazy. Crazy after Monday. Yeah, Monday's a holiday, so we'll come Monday, maybe Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll come back. It will be half this busy, I guarantee it, because nobody takes the whole week off for the holiday. But you did get one thing. I did get something. I got a piece of artwork. You know, my office at home is covered in Oswald. I'll show you again if you haven't seen it. I'll do a video really quick. So we made it back to my office here, like I said. There's the Oswald. Uh, this is one that I had. I still have to hang up. Uh, the one that we got, and there's my Oswald blanket and a stuffed Oswald. That's last year's. That's Brothers in Business. Let's see. Oh, there's the Oswald just picked up. I still have to hang it. Here's my Oswald pin collection. They make an Oswald pin. I'm going to try to find it. <laughs> there's the waffle ones. There's some of the bigger ones, the fig pins. Lots of Oswald. My lightsaber. There's Oswald. I got him at a yard sale in New York. Believe it or not, for $2 he popped up. There's Walt. With this guy, Oswald and Mickey. Oswald. And then uh, on the wall back here, those were done by those Disney artists they have. One of the Magic Kingdom did that one, and one of Disney Springs did the other one. And there's the Oswald uh, limited edition litho from a couple years ago. Uh, Sears sale, I know the Sears sale from a couple years ago, hand painted. And there's my Oswald pops. All right, my Oswald room. There he is, the new Oswald. You gotta love an Oswald print, anything for Oswald. We'll get him framed, try to find a frame from somewhere, Michaels or something, and he'll look good, right? Yeah, he gave up on doing good things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll find something for him, so but he looks good. All right, so we're gonna head on out. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing again. For all our new subscribers out there, thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. Watch our videos. Take a look at our historical videos if you haven't seen them. And we check out our shorts that we put up all the time. So, again, we appreciate it. Uh, take care of yourself. Be safe. Thumbs up. Comments down below. And don't be average. Bye, folks.